Guitar Collector Guy presents Fender Cobalt Chrome Telecaster Pickup Set used in my Telecaster build. Fender just released um, a series of pickups. Um, they released a, a set for the Jazzmaster, the Stratocaster, and then what I'm going to cover in this video, the Cobalt Chrome Pickups for the Telecaster. Um, a few things about these, they have um, one... A really distinctive look you can actually see the pull pieces and they're adjustable um, things that you can't see is there's a specialized copper magnet wire uh, with a polyamide nylon kind of overcoat um, the uh, chrome ring covers uh, vintage white inserts and the pickups are uh, wax potted these New pickups from Fender do not have the kind of traditional Alnico pickup magnet, uh, but instead have this kind of new that they came up with a proprietary blend of a magnet that contains iron, chrome, and cobalt. Um, a few things also about the pickup. Um, the uh, chrome ring cover uh, is actually a shield that helps uh, eliminate the 60 cycle hum that's kind of traditional with a, an, an Alnico single coil pickup. I decided to do um, a Telecaster build that I'd use these pickups in. Um, I'm a big fan of the blonde bodies or uh, natural uh, bodies. And so I saw a really good deal online for a, a new um Telecaster Fender USA body and so I went ahead and ordered it and it was a pretty good deal one because it was about a hundred dollars less than something through like um, Stratosphere and um, came with uh, the bridge with compensated uh, pickups and uh, a brand new Fender pickguard. Um, I also am trying out one of the Mojo Tone pre-built um, wiring harnesses in this build and I have um, and I'm, I think it's a <clears throat> Fender American Pro uh, Telecaster neck that's brand new with Rosewood fretboard and their new modern vintage uh, tuners already installed so um, I'm kind of calling this my super Telecaster um, it kind of has all the components of a Telecaster that I find to be kind of my favorite and um, I'm really excited about trying out the new Fender Cobalt um, pickups in it and they do actually look pretty cool. Um, I know that's not why we should be picking something but it is a nice aesthetic kind of added value to this. Um, I don't know why but for some reason I like the um, neck pickup on a Telecaster with pull pieces. Um, without the cover, I just think that it looks pretty neat looking. So I would rate this build, to be honest with you, not necessarily a build, but more of an assembly because, and I'd rate it at a, a kind of very low uh, difficulty rating uh, because, you know, I mean, everything's together. You don't have to drill out anything for like installing the tuning pegs. I didn't have to solder <clears throat> the wiring uh, harness. And, you know, I mean, it's the most difficult thing for me to do is I'm going to have to solder, solder a few wires from the pickups to the um, uh, wiring harness. Um, one thing I did find, and I'll kind of note this so far, the, the only negative thing that I've found about the Fender pickups is they seem to be like really stingy with the wire. Um, the bridge pickup in particular, the wire is just not long and... I found it difficult to have enough space to actually do the soldering work. I mean, once it was done, it's fine and it fits in there, you know, and so on. But it would have been nice, to be honest with you, it's not like wire is the most expensive commodity on the face of the planet to give us at least an inch or two more. The um, wiring harness on the uh, neck pickup, on the other hand, I mean, was very, very long and, and easy to work with. So my only negative comment so far.
the Mojo Tone um, pre-assembled um, wiring harness is a traditional kind of early style three-way position um, with um, a replicated capacitor that's supposed to produce the same type of um, tones and sounds out of a, uh, a 50s uh, Telecaster. Um, I found and I really appreciate Mojo Tone products. Um, I like the box that it comes in. I know this sounds kind of stupid, but it, it kind of looks like a kid's action figure box, but it's more for us where, you know, it's displaying something that we like, but it is kind of a, uh, a cool little marketing thing. But the quality on this, the build and stuff, um, far exceeds definitely my abilities to um, uh, build a wiring harness. Um, is very well put together, um, easy to use, um, and and so on. So um, it's probably the easiest part of the build. And um, they use um, quality products, CTS pots. Um, I think it's their own oil and paper-based capacitor so it basically emulates the original and um you know just a, a really good quality product online they go for about 98 to 100 dollars, and in some places are in stock some places you might actually have some lead time where you know mojo actually uh, makes them i have them right now i ordered a set of their vintage um humbucker pickups and it's going to be about 90 days until I see them because they're being handmade. And um, so I will leave in the description below the video uh, the links to the different products that I used in this. Um, so you'll be able to find um, the Mojo Tone um, uh, wiring harness and, you know, use it in a build or an upgrade of uh, your guitar as well. Soldering the pickups to the Mojo Tone um, wiring harness, uh, really easy to do. Just follow the instructions from um, Fender. You just twist the uh, black and green wires together and solder that to ground. And then solder then the, the white connector for the neck pickup to the um, switch. And um, the only thing that I found, again, I repeat, and you'll see it in a second here when I start to go in and solder the uh, bridge pickup to the wiring harness is, man, there just is no excess wire whatsoever um, that Fender gave you on the, the pickup. And in the end, that's the only negative that I found um, with the pickups. Um, you, you can see there's down there in the control panel um, are the... Um, the channel that there is, I mean, I, I really had to kind of put the control panel close, had to flip the, the body around so I could get at it and, um, just was not easy. Um, and I was actually worried that I was going to have to put and extend the wires. Um, so it would actually, um, uh, work. So, If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.
So I'm really happy with how the uh, build turned out and how it sounds, how it looks, how it plays. Um, final thoughts on the pickups. Um, they're very quiet. I could not hear any of the hum feedback or anything like that from the amp. Very clean sounding. Um, one of the things that I noticed was the neck position has what I would say is kind of much more tonal range and highs than the traditional tele pickup. The traditional neck um, position pickup to me is kind of a muted type of pickup and you really want to play in the middle position so you pick up the higher elements of the bridge pickup when you play a, a regular tele, but that's just my opinion. Um, the bridge pickup still has that distinctive kind of telecaster bite and so you're not losing anything um and i think you're actually gaining quite a bit then and um you know just from an aesthetics perspective they're they're pretty damn cool looking um i think that they really kind of dress up and make uh telecaster look really really unique and um i i like them so in case anybody didn't notice I had actually all along left a, a screw out of the pick guard and finally caught it at the end of the build and put it in, in case you were wondering. Thank you for watching Guitar Collector Guy. Um, really appreciate you being here. Hope you come back and watch more. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.